Hey people welcome back to the new video. Today I will diagnose this surge protector and repair it. It has 4 slots to use for 6 amperes devices. I will switch off all the slots and show you. When I try to use the second slot and switch it on, it's not working and we have to repair it. Now the third slot which is on, yes it's working but loose connection is there with plug. Now moving on to the fourth slot, switch it on, yes it's also working. Next moving on to the first slot, it's working. Only second slot is not working in this. Take a screwdriver or tester and wire cutter tools. Turn it back and remove all the screws. This box has wire of length 5 meters and costed 250 rupees and can be purchased from local electrical shops. Cover is open and there is a lot of dust inside the box. Let me clean it. As we look into this, second slot is not working and switch is already blown out long back. I will direct the switch using a copper wire. This is the fuse which protects from high voltage fluctuations. This red wire is line wire connected to fuse. This black wire is neutral wire commonly connected to all the slots. And top one is earth connected commonly to all the slots. And here it's connected to green wire which indicates earthing. On this plug, top big pin is earth, right side is neutral, left side is line. When you plug it to switchboard, the directions will be reverse. This red wire connects to fuse where its output is made in green wire. This resistor connected to small LED indicator along with fuse output. Green line output is commonly connected to all the slot switches. When you turn on the switch, the line will establish the current to the line. Zero on switch indicates off and one on switch indicates on. Now I take this copper wire to directly connect the blown switch which is not working now. Take the wire cutter and remove the PVC insulation. Now turn it spirally to make it hard. Copper wire is ready. Now look what I am gonna do with it. Insert it into the small holes in this area and bind it tightly.
Currently, I don't have availability of cutting pliers, so using my hand and cutter to turn it tightly. It's fixed tightly and we move on to the next step. As we look here, neutral soldering connection is detached to pin compartment. Again take a wire and bind to it. Split it to two sections and bind tightly to open space of neutral wire. If you have soldering equipment then you can use it else this is the easiest and best process. Once it's done, then push it inside and bind it to neutral pin compartment. Take the electrical insulating tape and cover it to avoid any short circuit.
That's perfect. We are done with the fixing of the second slot and now it's ready to use. Quickly fitting back the screws. Connect the surge protector to switchboard and you can see the red indicator showing it's on. I am using a mobile to show you that it's working. Plug into the second slot. Yes, it's working now with switch off condition because I directed it. Checking for all remaining slots. Inside you can see the neutral wire binding that I have made it to work properly. I hope this video helped you a lot. Please like this video, subscribe and press the bell icon to get new video notifications from my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy day.